All right, this is the podcast Susie's most excited for. Sports, 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 sports. Well, you'd sports. be, you'd be salivating sports. front and back page swimming. How good was that? And no scandals. It was all just proper good, just good hearty sports. Stuff. Hearty swimming. Yeah. Front page pregnant baby swimmer. Mm-hmm. So explain. Yeah. Front page Emma McKeon. Explain yeah. Not my ex. what they need to do. Okay, they've got to, it's trials. They've got to come top two, first or second, and they've got to go under a qualifying time, which is the top eight in the world last year in their event. Oh, it's not the top eight from the last Olympics. No. It's the top eight from the world's last year. A previous year, any time in the whole year. Wait, is that Fukuoka? What was last that year? Was Fukuoka, Fukuoka oh, yeah. last ah. year, yeah. But it could, yeah. But it could happen to trials. No, it could be it anywhere. Could, it could happen anywhere. World leading time, world yeah, lead, times. The top eight times. Over a 12-month period. Yeah. Oh, not... Well, I, not, not world champs. I don't not think that's fair. I, don't you think that the so? In other words, oh, someone yeah. someone could have, someone could have set a time in not in true competition. Yeah, d- true. Isn't true competition mm. time a more accurate reflection mm. of what oh, people no. are able to produce in, in, in the pressure. competitive world? <laughs> under pressure. Spring? Clarify what he's. I think yeah. you, you let him down a path there, where no. some dude at training is on a hand. No, they're still it's, at a competition. It's at a competition. No, but I understand what Ash is saying because. Uh, in one point, because to do a fast time is easier if you don't, sometimes don't have the pressure of winning the event because you can experiment a little bit oh, with your event. You but gonna, so, what are you suggesting, though, mate? Only, saying, only times in at a world championship or what? Let's see, I'm saying, no, but I still I'm, think it's. I'm saying, be. like, if you went to the Queensland State Championships, and no disrespect for the Queensland State well, Championships, but as a national swimmer, you knew you were going to perform strongly that you. You, I think that's where Kate break, Campbell broke her world record. If you record. break a world record, yeah, see, remember? You, you exactly. still got, you can't oh, yeah, say, no, it doesn't count. It was at Chandler. I'm, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> you do it at Nathan. You don't have the same pressure yeah. of of I having Kate Ledecky True. In, in the lane next to you. You know you're going also, to win the race. Um, if, Jeez, if, that, you're opening this up This is my point. 13, 13, mm. 32. <laughs> <laughs> if, um, but if, also if Katie Ledecky did eight of the fastest ten times, do they add all those eight? Yeah. I never thought of that. They yeah. must. Yeah, what about that? But one per all, person. Yeah, they'll think yeah, she's yeah, just one spot. Because that's, that's only one person. No, she's one spot. That's a better point. Well, why is it? Like, mm. I mean, rules are rules. I don't know. Maybe it is. Yeah. I don't well, know. Because the race would just be her. I'll have to look at clause 15.2 in the They'll take this the fastest time. From that's each a athlete. great point. Because that's only one person in front of you. What's that, sir? Well, they take the fastest time from each athlete, so yeah, she's only it wouldn't matter if... Just one? But what if I think so. But, well, they said to You'd me, imagine. the head coach, he said top eight in the world last year. So it depends. There's no athletes. way. It's Ledecky, 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 Ledecky. Yeah, it's not, no, true. It can't be that. Uh, and, I, and I also think there's something great in sport about, okay, well, she, she broke the... Australian record or the world record at Chandler back in June. Can she do it again on the big stage? That's yeah. also part of the Olympics. It's okay. Well, you've done it there. Let's well, well, James Magnuson, it, for instance. And mm. just being devil's ab- mm. abdomen Kate Campbell again. Did that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and didn't back it up. Uh, yeah, athlete, that's part of it, right? Mm. Athletics, for example. Yeah. Uh, but they've got a shit show at the moment with their got, selections. They've the got six marathoners that made the team, six women's marathoners, and they can only take three. But do they face the same scrutiny? Like, in other words, could if you go to the Australian Championships to qualify for the Olympics, mm. do you have to be in the top eight in the world? It's not to top make, eight in the to world. Ma- to but make the team? There's qualifying standards. Mm. They're, not, they're, not mm. that, they're not that harsh. You're right. And it's not at one event. Because if, if they did that, we'd have four people. Well, that's what I'm saying. Imagine, yeah. if you're the, imagine if you're the poor breaststroke or whoever it might yeah. be, who you're the best in the country. You're the best in Australia. At, at, at what you're doing, but whatever event, oh. I'm making it up. 200 breaststroke. Yeah, that's a better you're, you're, example. You're the best you 200 meter breaststroker in Australia. Yep. The same way as some female shot putter is the best female shot putter yep. in Australia. Neither of you is going to make a dent on the world on the world championship. You know, uh, at, at, at the Olympics. At, at the well, Olympics. They, well, they but, you, but you're still the best in Australia. Why shouldn't you go? I, I, there's a, there's an argument for that, mm. but I mean, I think it. In swimming, I know it lowers people's uh, competitiveness, I think. If it makes it too easy, people go e- don't get good enough. Yeah. I think if you raise the bar higher... If you know you're going to make the team a year out, right? You're not going to train as People hard. will get get better yes. overall. And you don't have less passengers you know? on teams? And less Kentucky tours. Yeah. Less people in there. There you there. go. Just travelling. There is an element of that. And that's why the trials close is also good. Because I reckon sometimes people make it three months out in swimming. And then they mm. start partying. They know they're not going to win a medal. So yeah, what's their incentive? That they've they've got the tracksuit and they're going to the Olympics and they're yeah. going to have fun. They can they knock out in the care. semis. I don't care. But then care. by that rationale, I mean, what's some sports that we're never going to win? I mean, athletics. We hardly ever win any medals in athletics. 
Yeah, we've you know, certainly less than swimming. Yeah. So we, we wouldn't be fielding a team if we were taking the people who are only going to be genuine finals. We'd have six or seven yeah, now, which is hey. more than what we have had previously. But yeah, it'd be certainly a lot less. I'd say, in very rough speakings, mm. the team that the 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 athletics team going to Paris Olympics very roughly, uh, almost all semi-final hopes, it's not final hopes. Mm. You know what I mean? Have we got anyone yeah. that could win gold? Yeah, we've got a... In he, athletics. We've got two high jumpers that could win gold. How's Denny and place? Women's. Denny could win, easily medal, the potentially ja- gold. The javelin lady? Yeah, we've got uh, uh, a couple of javelins, but uh, which one's firing uh, Kelsey, the Kelsey, Kelsey. Kelsey. Or Catherine Mitchell, there's a couple of them. There's one, Kelsey... Yeah. Um, I don't know what her name is, I forget. Oh, really well. Um, yeah, we do, yeah. we do. We, okay, we've got, we've, got, we've got middle distance runners who can medal. I love it when they come out. Remember women's. jumping, uh, well, you jumping Jai Tarima? Yeah. Like when they, yeah. they come out of nowhere and all of a sudden, yeah. and it, like that was prime Character. time. Yeah. It's like, man, we, we could win the long jump. <laughs> <laughs> like, who would have thought? That was yeah, crazy. Yeah, that was good. And he, and he was uh, a smoker, like, remember? He almost did win. He's Tatiana like, Grigorieva. Yeah. 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 Did she win? No, silver. She no, got, she got silver, silver at the Olympics. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what are some of the other good ones that we've had? Oh, well, Sally, of course. Sally and Kathy. Sally, oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's probably the best team we've had in a while. But the, yeah, the, the the qualifying standards aren't as tough as swimming. Was there another Jai who did um uh, trampoline? Was it? Remember him? Yeah. Jai, what um, was his name? Jai, Jai Wallace. Jumping Jai Wallace. Jai Wallace. Jai. Yeah. yeah, it's jumping Jai Wallace. Jumping, jumping Jai Tarima. Um, I was going to say something. I can't believe it's the Olympics again. I mean, I know it was only three years ago, not four years ago. It's come around. It though, feels like it? I was just it's in Tokyo quick. yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Because I remember seeing when athletic athletics team arrived because one of my jobs was to meet and greet the teams when they came in. That's a fun job. They are, yeah. They are so well-groomed, the athletics team. Like, so well-groomed. Like, they've always yeah. got their... Isn't it funny? Their hair really... Track and field, track and specifically. Field, yeah. Track and field specific. And that's ribbons in their hair, makeup, beautifully groomed. As Swimmers opposed, aren't like that? Not so much. Not Swimmers are really different in the Olympic Village compared to the other teams, too. They're so insular. They're, they're so... um. So I get it. You don't hardly see them. They don't hardly say boo to anyone. They're like, just walk around well, they're, really But they've also got their com- competition yeah. up straight away. And they've got so much pressure. Most of the medals come from the, the team. Yeah. And the feel of the team is started by how the swimming team goes. Mm. Yeah, it's, it sets the uh, barometer, doesn't it, for, yeah. the, for what lays ahead. That's how I'd want it, though. So bad. Like, you know, get your event out of there. Yes. I'd like to be... What's an event that's on the... Always, is there an event that's always on the first day at swimming? Oh, it moves around a bit. I'd want that. Like, I'd, 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 want, to be, th- I'd want to be in the swim team, come out, win gold on the first day, and then that's my schedule. Done. Well, I women, second or third women's day. rugby sevens, which I'll be um, emceeing over there, I think, I think women's is first. Their gold medal is the day after the game, gold medal match is the day after the opening ceremony. They start. I start two days before the Olympics, calling the Olympics on the 24th. Rugby sevens, rugby sevens, oh. opening oh, Sunday day that? off, and then th- th- yeah, the perfect. day after is the perfect gold medal. And then you're on Mad Monday for two yeah, and a half weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> with like some of the hottest people on the planet. But where now? You've got to leave the village after 48 hours. That's kind of not great anymore. Just get an Airbnb. Yeah. I'd still be I'd hanging around in money. Paris. I'd be walking around with that oh, yeah. gold medal on nonstop. Mm. <laughs> you would be, wouldn't you? Oh, I would be too. Can you believe it? Oh, like, yeah, I wouldn't have a shirt on. <laughs> no. I'd just be walking just, around. Just that. Mm. I'd be hanging Where outside. Where that windmill the, is. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, I'd be yeah. hanging around Moulin that. Moulin Rouge. That, that's uh, the seedy is that Moulin area Rouge? The that's the red light that district, isn't it? Is it the red light district? By the way, let's see. That Moulin Rouge, about... About 200 metres up the yeah, road from yeah. the Moulin Rouge is yes. where um, I went to that thing that night yes. that I spoke oh. about. Yeah, right. You know? Okay. Where, oh, there was all just sorts a, of... Different podcasts. Just, just, just a thing. Just a thing. Yeah. 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 Podcast. Um, can we move yeah. on from the Olympics and talk about... I don't know, oh. But you real might quick. want to just bear that in mind, <laughs> I'm sure that... <laughs> I'm sure he was listening to me there. I was, I was listening. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, wasn't um, the result for the Bronx over the weekend, but should give a shout out to Paddy Carrigan, who yes. scored his first try for the year. Well, that's Did good he? to get that out of the way. Did he have his well, stacks on? Early, but, his doggies? Yeah. Have his lutzy heads? We don't his... know. He's been very vague but, around that. Mm, mm. Oh, okay, that's fine. I won't bring it up again. It'd be interesting to see if, if Katoni took his. Katoni was man of the match for the Bronx. So he, he had an outstanding what game. What happened to him? Katoni, so did maybe he get injured? Yeah, I he, thought he, he looked like he did, and then he, he looked, came back on. Yeah, he was off. He was like a, a leg issue. Yeah, but um, so I don't know. It's just like a late cramp or something like that. But mm. yeah, Paddy's first at Suncorp actually because he yeah, he scored that. two last year, two back to back. But it was the Gabba and then an away game. Ah. Let's, let's yeah. celebrate that game too much. No, that, I, that I know, was, I know. Was it was just I didn't it just see it. That it, was, um, lots of, it sounded bad. It promised so much. We led like fourteen six or something at half time. That's what I heard. I thought, yeah, we got it in the bag it's just you know just do your thing mm. and they just came out they played shit in the second half and i'm sorry to use a swear word but that's the, the only way you could describe mm. it it was terrible 
Yeah, I was I so annoyed. I feel like Tristan was underdone a little bit, do you feel? Cause... It wasn't his best game. No. It he really was wasn't. It, I feel like he was in a moon boot two weeks ago. Like, no. when, well, they pulled Kevin him out. said of the to t- you guys the other day, oh, he's made a miraculous recovery to take Reese's place. I thought he was having a laugh, but I'm like, no, that's right. I saw him in the tunnel limping his way through at the start of the last It game. wasn't even in the um, the 22. No. That was named. They pulled him out from out, like from nowhere. Mm, mm. James yeah, Tedesco a, style. Yeah. Rough yeah. Mm. It felt a lot worse than a 10 point margin. I think because we were kept scoreless in the second half, like yeah. you said, Ash. Oh. But that was a rough. Ooh, that's brutal. Yeah. yeah. Yikes. And they they were down stars like yeah you know, Nico wasn't out there. Yep. Uh, I know we're obviously down an extra couple, but at the same time, yeah. Those two points would have been so vital for us, like particularly well, during the Origin. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is going to come back period. and bite us on the ass. Yeah, because we got another buy coming up. I think before Origin three, but yeah, we need because and home Where games are we on too. The ladder? Uh, Seventh. Yeah, we're but still in the eight. We could be eight by the end of the day. The Bulldogs will jump to seventh if they win of the course, um, this afternoon. Today, yeah, right. But um. We need oh, middles, don't we? The Bronx. Just, uh, mm. The Broncos need middles. Like there's forwards. Yeah, like big, big bodies. Mm. Well, Nick and I just on a, like a, as, as a game day thing we were talking about off air before because they've now lost three straight home games. They'd won four from four, and then now they're they're down three. They had a win against Manly in Magic Round, but technically an away game. We had nothing to do with Who it. Who else have they lost um, to? Uh, the Titans was the last one, oh, yeah. and then the Roosters. Oh. Yeah. So they've um Jeez. yeah it's, it's, and, it's, and the next home game Friday the fifth of July against the Penrith Panthers so another uh, another big one so. this this Friday night game is going to be tough against the Rabbitohs I reckon yep. as well because yeah, they yeah. seem to find a bit of form well geez didn't they kill it it was a weird weekend of footy like it was either absolute Trail beltings Mitt. yeah. Trail Mitt's back scored in the what eighth minute fighting for his place yeah. would you pick him in the New South Wales team I would have had him there last game for sure. Mm. Over Sawali. As a as a Queens, I don't think I want him there because he likes to just you know he picks and chooses which games he likes to turn up for. And I think an Origin is one where he's he never to. lost a series in the Blues jersey, hasn't he? Nope, he's, he's an Origin player. Has he got that reputation? Does he? That a pick not consistent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. and that's his whole go. So is it? Oh, he can care. turn. I hate it him even more. Now. I mean, I don't hate, yeah, I don't hate he, anyone. He, he can. Uh, I just like him even more. <laughs> I don't hate anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I do hate oh, and that was the thing about him. <laughs> <laughs> she never hated anyone. I don't hate him, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she hates him. I don't know him. I don't care enough. He's uh, inconsistent. He can turn it on and off like a tap. He can be the best player in the world on his day and one of the worst when he's not. I do hate him. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, thank you. <laughs> Um, and uh, did the Lions win? Lions yeah. had a they, good win. They, did they yes. break a, a curse yes. or something I see online? Nick? Yeah, 40, Come in here. Come on, mate. 43 points Tell us sweater. the dogs on Friday night. And but, mate, speak into a microphone. I will. I actually yeah. play very well down at Marvel Stadium. It's, I'll I mean, do all the work for you, mate. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Doing that well. Um, no, nine, <laughs> nine out of the last 11 <laughs> games. <laughs> Come and use mine, Nick. Well, Come and use mine. with you. Speak into a microphone. Too. We didn't have enough microphones in this studio, but here we are. No, they were on. Um, yeah, out of it now. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. oh, yeah, Susie's just trying to get out of the podcast. Uh, their Susan, uh, their Susan, their season was hanging right on the line. They needed to win that game, and yeah, sure enough, like every player who was kind of on the chopping block stepped up. So. The season's still alive for the Lions. When are they back in at the Gabba? Uh, Friday week. night, they've got the Saints, so should win that one. Both on five Let's get wins. Lockie in this week. Mm. Yeah, uh, Lockie, 38, Lockie 38 yeah, touches Lockie on um, uh, Friday night. He was yeah. sensational. Good form, Fantastic. Eh? Yeah, yeah, he's back. Did you watch the Reds? I didn't, because uh, I was pl- I was playing. Oh, hang on, but... put Sue's back on. Oh, Sue's back <laughs> on. Sue's back on. Your time's oh, up, I was, Nick. I was, I was in the lounge room when the Reds was on, yes. And I didn't see much. I just heard so Cliff were you saying, watching it or you were not just particularly in the lounge heard, room when the Reds was on? I heard Cliff saying, oh my God, they're getting smashed. Yeah, I, I, it was beyond smashed, nil, smashed. 31 nil or something I heard at one it was, point. Mm, then, time. What Jeez. happened? What was I doing even? So that was like a quarter final. Where was, was that game? Yeah, they're done now. So done. That was, was in Hamilton. They don't do well in... It was uh, on Friday night, wasn't it? I don't it? know, we yeah. won a game over That's there. That's right. Friday and then Cliff said, oh, and the Broncos is on after this. And I was like, I mean... What, no, but the Broncos before? wouldn't Love have been sport, on. Don't you? <laughs> he got the day wrong. He got the day uh, wrong. Yeah. Oh, he was going to say I was like, oh, we're going straight from Reds into Rugby League. For like, okay, well, what else am I going to do with my night? You I can hate Latrell <laughs> instead. <laughs> um, that that's a comprehensive sports yeah. wrap.